Hey everybody, it's J Jam Jim. Welcome back to episode 9 of our City Skylines tutorial slash let's play series. And today I was thinking that one, I'd like to get to our next threshold of our population of 12,000, which is our next, mi next milestone. And that will give us a crematorium and uh, also it will give us a the water treatment plant, which would be really nice to have as well, so we can stop polluting our waters. Um, so I'd like to do that, and the other thing I'd like to do is move our, start to get rid of some of this um, industrial here, and what I'd like to do is move our incinerators and all of the nasty, yucky stuff, like even the recycling centers, and I thought we could move them down here. So, we have this little bit of this uh, hill here, and so I thought since the highway's right here, we don't have a lot of, I wasn't sure what we could do with this, but since we have this sort of hill and not a lot of residential around it, I thought we could have a road coming off of here, like a service road, and maybe it connects all the way through to this bridge as well. And then all that does is service our city via um, this, this little area right here. Because it's sort of centralized, and I think we could be able to get the garbage trucks over here and also I do realize that we do not have actually a, a road connection from our city you have to get on the highway to get out here now I didn't do that on purpose but I don't know if that's the worst thing ever I'm not sure yet I'm not sure exactly how that feels but we could always bridge over the highway here and have like a road coming, you know, through or, you know, make this an, another national road or um, a two lane highway, excuse me, over here. But so what I'd like to do is, yeah, we'll get rid of some of this and then we'll add it over here. Maybe fill in just a little bit more of this area. We are having some abandonment issues. That's probably because we don't have enough people living over here. But let's get some of these. Let's get some of these actually. But, and then to get to our 12,000 population, I think we can fill this little area in as like a little neighborhood. And I think we should be able to get there. You know, about 1,500 more people. It should be doable. Also, the traffic here is just madness. And then if we can get rid of most of this area and maybe just turn this into also another residential sector, maybe some, maybe, I think we keep these offices right here. Uh, then we may be able to get rid of this sort of monstrosity that we have going on here. This area wasn't really well built to start with, so it might be nice to do that. Okay, well, let's get started doing that. So, first thing is I'd like to zone a little bit more of the farmland area over here. Um, this is all right. Okay, cool. I wasn't, I wasn't entirely sure if it was. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get a little bit more of it over here. Doesn't have to be so barren, you know what I'm saying? Let's also put this on two speed. Um, let's just dot, you know, a little bit more in here. And then... Hopefully, this will allow us to get rid of um, most, if not really all, of the other um, industrial. Let's just do that. And you know what? We can even do some like little farm stuff over here. So let's dezone a little bit of this. We don't want to do all of it, but just start peeling back some of it. And that may increase the amount of that we need, but um, I think we're gonna be able to get rid of a lot of it. And then over here, let's build out where we want to place our trash and things. So if we could come, oh, we're running into a pillar. I see. Hmm, that's unfortunate. That 
That's unfortunate. Well. So here we're not. We'd go to here. Then let's let's go straight down with this. Just to about there. And then we'll do like a nice gentle curve. There we go. How does that look? That's not too shabby. It's not not a, not a perfect curve, and we could do some terraforming with that, but I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue. Let's get rid of this rock. Okay. And then, let's grab this guy. And can we get him right off of here? Okay, we can just there. I'm going to pause real quick, because we are going to lose our connection. And let's go like that. Perfect. Okay. Also, let's move the incinerators over here. Um, I may want another... Um, can I get a road straight? That's what I want. Now this may be too close for the residential area, but we'll find out. Oh, it's just out of range. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. This is great. And then these can be on this main road. Awesome. That is great. Power generation, trash consumption. All in one place. Now, it may have some trouble getting out here. So, what we may want to do, and I don't think we have any currently, is get a recycling center right out here and this will service this area and let's do it it's a little more expensive but it won't and it will pollute but we don't have any houses over here just industrial which they don't mind that too much and it will be necessary just to have a little bit more coverage and it's better than putting down another incinerator in fact, I'd like to get rid of the incinerators, but recycling centers don't hold as much trash. They cannot process as much as the incinerators can. In fact, they're double. So, there's also more trucks coming out of the incinerator. Now, it is more expensive, but it's a little more efficient than the recycling centers, unfortunately. Because these pollute a lot more than these, but we can always switch later. Um, okay, so that should really clean up this area. And get rid of more of this and force the jobs to come in over here because these are saying they're short of workers can you even add a couple more houses out here now these houses aren't going to be very happy because it's very loud the farms are very loud but just for role playing sakes I think I think it will be nice to have these houses out here. Cool. And once this is all like prettied up with some trees and things, I think this is gonna be a really, really nice little area. Nice little filler area to, to um, you know, connect our cities with. We could even keep extending this road down and have it all all along here, really. Look how fast it's polluting this area already. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is just part of life. Okay, let's get rid of all the rest of these bits over here. I'm even gonna dezone that. It's gonna put a spike there, but what we can do is add more offices, maybe here. Because the offices don't have as much traffic. And we're also doing... You know what we could do out here? 
since we are going to, and this is kind of something that I like to do, since we're going to have pollution out here already, until we need more incinerators, we can always do a little bit of industrial out here. Because they're going to be polluting anyway. So why not have more industrial buildings? Gives us a little bit more income and uh, doesn't really affect this area too much in terms of pollution. So that's good. Start getting something rid of some of these roads. Very good. This is a transitioning area, but as you can see, the pollution is, is already starting to clear up. Alright, so let's go over here. And let's get some neighborhoods going. Alright, so... <clears throat> We want to connect off to this road. Now I don't want to. I don't want to zone too close to the highway. You know, I don't want to do too close to the highway, and I don't want to do any housing off of this road or off of this road per se. Perhaps a couple shops, but that's that's about it. But I think we will have. Let's go like. So, and we'll just do a grid pattern out here. And that did not connect to that road. I see. I see the issue. No matter. Let's do a little of that. That's fine. Okay. And then... something. Let's do a similar thing over here. And then I think that's actually nice not having another connection to this this avenue here. Keeps it a little clearer and does allow us to zone off of it. Uh, rocks. So let's zone some more commercial all along here. And this will be housing. sure what that is yet. Cool. We did do a we did dip a little bit. We are now right below ten thousand. But I think we'll get back pretty pretty quick here. Maybe this is like a little bit of an office building here office buildings quell some more of that uh, industrial demand what if these were little areas were high density I don't know how that's gonna look but it might look kind of nice we'll see if we don't like it we can change it Do I want another road in here, or is that just going to be more... Oh, I think that's good. I think that's good. Probably just fill that in with some trees. Oh, you know what we could do that might be nice? We haven't done a lot of is walking paths. So I think this would be a really, really proper place to do it. Now, I don't know how much this is going to get used, but... Go up. Oh, uh, no, it doesn't let me do it. Come on, game. There we go. Nope. No, you're not gonna let me. You're gonna be finicky like that. I got you. So let's go to nine. Is that connecting? Hmm. I'm not convinced it is. So let's turn the guidelines back on. Well, hmm. 
Sometimes... Sometimes the game does not want to work for you. See, now that doesn't look connected to me. It does not want to connect to that. Hmm. Okay, that's very, very goofy. But, um, you know, what are you going to do? Alright, so let's go to level 9. That will get us over the highway. Um, I like that it actually dips down a little bit. That's going to be enough for trucks to get under. So I'm not, too, I'm not too worried about that. Let's go back down to 0. Okay, perfect. And then we'll go... Nice. We got achievement unlocked. An earth-loving city. I don't know what we did to deserve that, but uh, there you be. I saw it there. It's a little too short. Okay. Again. The game hands you lemons. Just make lemonade. I'm sure that's connected. There. Now, uh, oh, it's not straight, though, is it? It is not. So, let me, I'll do that a little bit again. But. There we go. There we go. Now it's straight. So, I don't know how much this will get used. I mean, people are using it already. I mean, if you live in this neighborhood or you're shopping over here, you know, or if you live in this neighborhood, rather, and you're shopping over here, uh, then you can uh, hopefully uh, walk. And what will be nice is if we can upgrade this neighborhood to the uh, grass line roads, not only will people not park on the road anymore, clutter it up, but it will also make them happier because it's a little bit nicer of a road. See how we got some upgrades there? Some happy, some smiley faces there. That's a little tedious going through doing all this with all these roads, right? But, um, you know, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, right? There. Great. Great, great, great. In fact, we can do it over here as well. Now, if you hold it, it will do all the roads for you. See when we get some happy faces there? Just make sure you're not clicking on any avenues. Because it will... Now, it kills a little bit of some of the houses on the curves, but... That's okay. They'll come back. There. Now we have some grassland neighborhoods, which is a little bit nicer. Cool. And that's filling in really nice. Getting our population back now. These are starting to fill in a little bit more. But I think what we could do is have a... I don't know how this is going to be now. Once we get rid of all this. Actually, maybe this is also another residential area. What if we put the road right there? In fact, let's make it a tree line road. And put a path so now let's do that and then let's go like this continue on and what this does so let's put a little bit of trees in here
And if you're feeling zesty, let's give you put down some benches to sit on. I'll show you what this is going to be in a moment here. Or some picnic tables. Okay. Now, is that an actual park? No. But will it look really cool in between all of these? Yes, it will. It's sort of like a little courtyard area for all the people living in these sort of condo high-rise apartment buildings. And it's going to come in right away and give us a nice boost to our population. Concrete's even blending nicely in some of the areas. There's a lot of times there's parking lots back here, so you can almost, you know, we can almost play pretend and imagine this is sort of an alleyway, right? Like, you can come in here and park your car in the back. But it's a little place to walk, and it's just a nice thing to look out your backyard. I like to do things like this with high density once in a while. Just to, just to add, a, just add a touch of realism, you know? And it fills it in and it separates it a little bit. See how nice that looks? Very cool. I can add, add a little bit of a commercial right there. Give some shops on the other side, right? Transforming this area. It's great. I think I'm going to want to go as far as to say we can do some offices right here. And to that end, let's continue getting rid of some of this. All of this over here. Great. Now, reconnect this area uh, yes we will um actually no we do not need this anymore we need this one to connect the power to this grid but as you can see it connects up and around and through over to here so we're still in business In fact, we can manipulate some of that later, but let's get rid of this whole thing now. Now, we need, need people to get back on the highway, but we don't need this. We don't need this, basically. We can redo how this is going to look and feel. In fact, we can get rid of the fencing and the path and all that stuff over here. Great. So, the Vermont district uh, is no longer going to be... You know what? Let's just get rid of it all. Never be afraid. I think I accidentally clicked on these. Whoops, that's my bad. Sorry about that, offices. Okay. Now we have no more urban farming. And now it's all out into the countryside. I think that's gonna be really really nice so let's grab that so now the Vermont district needs no industry um, I'm not sure what this district is now might not be anything actually so maybe let's just get rid of it we can always rezone it or we can always redistrict it later there now, we've cleared a path from our original plan, right? Remember, this is our original industrial area, but because of the expansion we've done, because of the additions we've done in other areas, getting some offices in, getting some rural farming going, we can now completely transform this area into whatever we want it to be. After, you know, after some time, after some building. So, this is just a, a nice example of showing that 
you can always change where things are. You can always move things around. Don't hesitate to. Now, they are using this as a turnaround, which is fascinating. It's because there's no way to get over here from this side of the highway, which is a problem. That is part of the problem. Hmm. How might we remedy that? So that's really inefficient because they're basically having to come into the city, turn around here, and come back out. Because really we can get rid of this arm. Hmm. Right. I would like to force them to use this highway. What we could do. So let me pause this real quick. Let me get rid of this. I'm going to use this bridge. We go down to zero, or to ground level rather. Go like that. I'm gonna continue straight, and then we're gonna just go like that. Oh, that's yeah. I was worried about that. I think we'll there we go. We'll just rebuild it. Uh, oh, that's still gonna give us that issue. I think it's because of the angle that it's at. So what if I just angle it out a little bit more? Not perfect, but we'll take it. This goes in. So now, you turn left, come around here, come up through here, then can we... Question is, can I get I'm getting greedy here? No, not really. But what I could do. It's very weird and unorthodox, but uh, could be good if we can get this to connect. Not really. I have to do a little dance there. Now, this is forcing a left turn. Ugh, that could be bad. But if we don't, I don't plan on zoning a lot off of this, so maybe that's not a big deal. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. There's probably a better solution. But let's see if we can get these all to reconnect. 
Remember, guys, we're trying stuff, right? And where there's a will, there's a way. Great. Now, will this connect up? Okay. That's the other trick. Um, might interfere with that. Yeah. Now, do this. Snap that off. Okay. That uh, I will accept. I'll take that. There. And now we've done it. Now, let's see if that will get used. Especially if we get rid of this. Because this is allowing for the turnaround, and that's not what I want. Now, we're going to end up changing uh, this end, how it ends a little bit. We may reconnect this now, because I don't see foresee as much traffic, but maybe we won't need to do that. But let's see if trucks actually start using this. Um, oh, yep, uh, that is a problem. <laughs> Reconnect this. I always make sure you're reconnecting your. Let's go up. Your pillars. Okay, looks like they are. Well, actually, I don't know yet. Oh. Yeah, sometimes the game will do this where it doesn't remember how to connect it to anything. Just back it up and try it again. Like that. We have a little weird stuff there, but that's okay. See, there's some trucks using it. These trucks are getting off. Again, very unorthodox, but kind of an interesting little thing we've created here. It's almost like its own little interchange right here. separates traffic out really nicely though our traffic is actually very good our traffic flows 92 percent that's pretty good we don't really have very many red areas at all see how much traffic clears up when you get rid of industrial areas it's pretty amazing actually awesome well everybody i think that is going to do it for this episode we got some stuff done we didn't hit our goal we did not hit our goal, but we did reclaim some land for us, and I think that's going to be very, very excellent. Next time, we will get around to completing that. I think we'll buy our fourth tile as well and start doing some expansion into some other small town areas. Not necessarily small towns, but other smaller city little city centers that we can create and then start to connect them and see how that all plays together and then i think we're going to start also after that i think we're going to start to get some public transportation into the city more public transportation like buses and maybe even some trams and some things and then we're going to have to start working on our downtown area figuring out where does our downtown going to live so many things to do everybody thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode of city skylines Bye, everybody.